One of the most wonderful things about Jerry Goldsmith's music is his unique approaches to musical ideas. Uh, he's not copying others per se, he's kind of innovating and taking musical constructs and musical uh, elements and doing unique things with them. One of those examples comes from the 1979 film Alien, and specifically there's a chord in that film that I want to discuss in this video. But first let's talk about music in general, um, just some basic musical elements. So music consists of scales and chords. Now scales are uh, basically pitches um, organized into uh, a, a pattern. There's an example of a basic C major scale. Now chords consist of pitches combined. So that's the first, the third, and the fifth of that scale. Major chords, minor chords, are the basics of most music. Scales, chords, and then of course you get rhythm and melody and these kind of other elements. Before the turn of the century, around the time of Wagner, the concept was to um, get away from these uh, harmonic functions and to try to make it abstract and vague. And in Wagner's Tristan, he kind of avoids these um, color tones or the third note uh, that, that kind of designates whether it's a major or minor chord. Um, however, you know, he would start with these um, chords based on fourths instead of thirds to try to obscure it. Um, however, they were always resolving down to the third, so it was still tonally based. After that, we get composers like Charles Ives, uh, Paul Hindemith, uh, Schoenberg, and a couple of the other Viennese composers, Weber and Berg, and they really wanted to obscure the key and or tonal centers of these score or these scales and chords. And in doing so, they started to think of new ways of combining uh, chords, combining pitches. And one of those ways was something called uh, chordal harmony. And chordal harmony, uh, and quintal harmony, I should say, is basically instead of stacking thirds, you end up stacking fourths. And it creates a kind of different sound, and that's chordal harmony, and this is the quintal harmony. You can see it's a different sound, and that's what was happening in the turn of the century. Now let's get to Jerry Goldsmith. Jerry Goldsmith, in his unique way, decided, well, we've stacked fourths, we've stacked fifths, what if we stack sevenths? And that's exactly what he does. Minor sevenths. He stacks them and creates this chord. And all that is, is a starting on low C, you have a C, B flat, A flat, G flat, E, D. And that chord is the alien chord. What makes this unique is I don't know of any other composer in the history of classical music or anywhere else that's ever thought of using this chord. So there you have it. There's an example of what makes Jerry Goldsmith absolutely unique. And it's his ideas, thinking outside the box and looking at what others have done and then going, what if I do this, this totally unique way, um, and coming up with something you knew? Uh, and that's exactly what he did. So, once again, here is the Alien chord, and you can hear it in context. It was in the end title music for the film, uh, which was not used in the film. And it was also uh, the, the opening title of the film. Uh, which was changed, so that was not also heard in the film. Um, interestingly enough, in the new Alien Covenant movie, it makes an appearance. So finally, years and years later, you get to hear this music, or this particular chord, in a movie, uh, in an Alien movie, just not the one that Jerry scored. If you like this video, uh, click the like and subscribe.